Flying geese are used in a lot of different quilt patterns. Today I'm going to show you the easiest method in the world that you can use to make these. You're going to need a rectangle and two squares of fabric. The rectangle will be the exact size of the final piece you want and the squares will be squares of the height of the rectangle. On the wrong side of the squares, mark a diagonal line from corner to corner. Lay one of the squares on the rectangle right sides together and stitch directly on the diagonal line. When the stitching is done, trim off the corner with scissors or a rotary cutter. The corner won't be needed and can be saved for another project. Open the triangle and gently press. Add the second square to the other side of the rectangle, being sure that the marked line is going in the opposite direction. Stitch directly on the marked line and then trim away the corner. Open the triangle and gently press. And there it is, your perfect flying geese unit, the exact size that you need. If you want, you can use the cut off corners to make half square triangles. So what's good about this method of making flying geese? It's super simple math and there's no trimming to size. What's not so good about it? There is fabric waste. Even if you save the half square triangle pieces, this can cause stress of having another unfinished project. So when would you want to use this method? It's great if you're using really small pieces. It's easy if you struggle with math. And it's helpful if you need an unusual size. I give this method three out of five thimbles. For more tutorials, patterns, and inspiration, check out ebitastudio.com.